Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial right before I go to work and um, the first thing that you really want to do when you're doing wavy hair is to make sure that the, whatever appliance you're using is really really hot. Um, I've learned this from a lot of experiences with this one that I got um, and it's it's just one of those things where you can't expect a $15 piece of equipment to work very good if you leave it on for five minutes. It's not a chi. Uh, you didn't spend two hundred dollars on it so it's probably going to be, uh, you're going to have to work with it a little bit. Um, and the one I recommend is the Vidal Sassoon S-Wave Curler. Okay, uh, just a simple hot, uh, low, and off button on that. But it's got the little, the little wavy. As you can see, you really want to do this on preferably unwashed hair. Uh, this is actually the look I do when uh, I'm really in a hurry and I don't have time because I want to still take a shower, but if I do my hair and stuff, it just takes forever. So this is the uh, the wavy hair that everybody seems to keep uh, requesting I do a tutorial on. So I wanted to make sure I did this and today was just the perfect day for that. So um, this has been on for 30 minutes. Uh, I usually just go ahead and shower and then put my makeup on with this still on, like heating up. The hotter the better. You can leave it on, I think it needs to be on for at least 15 to 20 minutes, in my opinion. Okay, so I put my hair up when I was in the shower so it wouldn't get wet. And some people may be like, ew, that's really gross, you didn't wash your hair. But I have really dry hair, so if I don't wash my hair, it's really not that bad. Uh, if I didn't color my hair, it would certainly be really greasy, and I could not do this. <laughs> okay, so I just kind of comb it through. Pull out any hair, because <laughs> my hair sheds a lot. Okay, so the most important part is right here, okay, because this is what people look at. Um, it, it's going to be your most important area to focus on, okay? And so you want to do a little section at a time in the front. So you're going to put very, very close to the hairline. And it, at first, you only have to hold it there for a second, okay? Because it's so hot that if you leave it on for more than that, it's going to look really fake and you're going to get like that metal line. So don't leave it on too long when you're at the front of your head. That makes sense. I don't do hair tutorials. I'm definitely not a professional. Okay, so then I'm doing the next little piece, as you can see. See, I left that on a little bit long. And I'm focusing like up here to begin with. It doesn't have to be like really, you know, like logical. Like it doesn't have to be specific. Like do this piece first. It's pretty much just whatever you want to do. Just go with it. This, that's the beauty of this little... See, the farther back I'm going, like, the more hair I'm putting into the thing. The more hair you have in this thing, the longer you want to keep it on. But it does a really good job of crimping the hair. And it was 15 bucks at Walmart. Like, you can't beat that. I know my chi was ridiculously expensive, so... And then I'm getting really far back into the back of the hair, okay, and I'm just going to take little, little sections of that, getting as close as possible to the head. You know, I burn myself a couple times, but it's really not like, it's just a second owl. It's not like you're, like, burning yourself. But you just want to try to get it as close as possible, because it will look more natural. It won't, you won't see, like, a, a line. And that's why I'm kind of doing it in random spots, because, like, if you did it all in the same spot, like, if you were real logical about it, like, it would look kind of fake. Like, you want it to look as natural as possible, I think. Okay, so now, I still have a little bit in the back, okay? But I'm going to focus on this side now, because I still want that, a lot of that heat for the front of the head. Also, you don't want to go over the same spot twice. Like, you want to hold it for a second and move on. Hold it for a second and then move on. And the S wave, like, you'll feel when it when it goes to the next section. Like, I really don't know how to describe it to you guys, but if you watch closely here. Holding it. 
moving it down an inch or two. Moving it down. You have to make sure the hair is straight on this thing. Um, if it starts to, you can't just like pull it through. And that's another thing, you can pull this thing through your hair if you don't want that really crumped look like I'm going for. Like you can experiment with this thing, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. But I really just like to do it this way, this is the fastest way for me to get ready. And if you see that it's not like crumping as much, like you can go ahead and just keep it on longer. I mean, it, it does the same thing. Because like if you don't heat this thing up, you'll have to hold it for 30 seconds in each spot to get the same effect. Okay, so heat it prior to using. Just trust me on this one. And you can't go over the same spot twice because if you do, it will actually start to unravel the crimp and you'll get like, it'll start to look straight. <laughs> So just pulling it down an inch at a time. I, I'm sorry I'm not very good at these tutorials. I, I'm trying. I really am. It's hard to explain what I do. And just make sure you get to the very bottom of the hair and make sure everything is crimped. That's really the, the key is just getting everything. And if you have those like little hair clippies to pull your hair up, if you want to section off your hair, you can go ahead and do that. I just I don't have those, and it, I have very thin hair, so it's really not necessary for me to do that. I'll know if I get all my hair. I have very, very thin hair. And then you can always go back, like, if you see, like, an area, like, this area needs to be a little bit more crimped, you can go back. But you just don't want to keep going over the same spot over and over again, like, if it's already crimped like this. I wouldn't want to keep going over that spot, otherwise it's going to start to straighten it. So if you do go back over something, make sure you leave it on for a very, very long time, like 20 seconds. And it's okay if it's just slightly wavy in the back. Because the main crimping part is up here. Like, this is what's framing your face. Okay, after I'm done with that, see how easy that was? After I'm done with that, I'm just going to take some some sort of volumizing spray or um, waving spray. This is a Beach Waves from Fakai. This was part of their summer collection. This is the best thing in the whole world, and look how much I have left. So I'm going to have to go out and buy some more. I just spray that all over my hair, and then kind of mold it kind of fluff it up how I want it. You could even tease your hair in the back if you wanted to to get it a little bit more full looking. And once that sets, I'm going to go ahead and use some hairspray. Hairspray is really important with this look to keeping the curl in there. I'm just going to use a biolage one. Okay, it's like really clogged up. That's great. You don't want to put anything on here that will make your hair greasy, okay? Because your hair is already a little bit because you didn't wash your hair, okay? The grease is also going to weigh down the hair and not keep the curl. So you want to use light products if you're going to use products at all. Sorry, I was shaking that. So yeah, this is the end result. The waves that all of you love using a simple $15 appliance. So I hope that was helpful. Let me, get, let me know if you guys have any questions about it. I know I wasn't very like clear, probably, but it's, it's just so easy and cute and fun, and I get compliments on it every time I have it. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.